going on YouTube? Mr. Football here and today I have a review video on the Under Armour Flag Visor. So this is something I've been wanting to do a review on now for quite some time. Uh, I actually got this like last summer uh, when it came out and I've had it on a, another helmet just kind of sitting around and I, I guess I've just forgotten to do the video on it. So now I've finally gotten around to making this video. Uh, so I want to talk about it uh, as far as like kind of maybe where you can get it, where you can find it today. Uh, you can buy it off of the Under Armour website, underarmour.com, uh, and Green Gridiron also sells uh, these visors, uh, and both both sides sell them for $64. Uh, as far as like how I got it, I was extremely lucky. I found this at a Ross of all places, uh, and, and as far as like things that I, found, that I found at Ross, as you can see, I got it for $16.99, and I was like, why is this here? This is brand new. Like it was last summer and, and I found it, but it's really cool. It does say Under Armour uh, football uh, visor. Obviously it says limited edition football visor. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, kind of says American down there um, on the box. And, the, and then on, on this side of it here, it's got some more, got some more neat things as far as like that's on the box. Pretty cool. Um, let's get it out of the box. Um, I have had it on a helmet uh, for a while. I basically just uh, put it back in the box for this video uh, because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I really got to wanting to do this video because I've gotten questions about tinted visors. So uh, we are going to talk about this visor um, as far as like if you can use it or not. I think some of you probably already know the answer, but we'll talk about it. Um, the one thing that I changed. Um, and what comes standard on this uh, as far as the clips go, I put these red clips, the red Under Armour uh, visor clips on here. It comes with black uh, as the standard one, so that was just kind of a different look. I think blue would also look good with this as well. Uh, they do make blue Under Armour visor clips as well. It is a blue mirrored tinted visor, so you're going to see a shaded blue, kind of a, a blue tinted visor there from the front. It's going to be mirrored because you can see... Uh, my my lights that I've got on my camera and you can obviously see the flag design of the visor which starts on this side with the stars of the American flag uh, and then go to the stripes so you do actually see kind of a hint of red uh, it's kind of hard to see maybe if you look back at it a little farther um, it, it kind of distorts it a little bit with like the uh, with the, the design and, and it being a mirrored visor, uh, but you do kind of see some tints of red in there as well. Really neat. Uh, as far as what it looks like from the backside, it just kind of reminds me of like what a pair of sunglasses look like. It is a dark visor as far as, um, you know, what you can kind of see from the back. Um, when you put the visor on, I, I don't know if this will help any of you at all, but as far as like when you put the design, you know, up here, like how you'd wear it, like underneath your helmet, um, you do kind of see the the design there kind of bleeding through. It's not very distracting. Like if I focus on something else, I can't see it. But if I try to look at it, I'll see it. So that's just some different things about the visor. Um, I wanted to kind of talk about the box uh, as, far as, as far as that goes, because there are some specific things on here that are worth mentioning. Um, as far as other things that come in the box, um, just for those of you that have never had a Under Armour visor unboxed in front of you, um, it comes with instructions on how to put this on. I've got videos on all this stuff, um, and it tells you everything, you know, how you can do the different visor tab customization uh, with either putting your number or a different color on there. All of these are the same that you get in every single Under Armour visor. All the same colors, nothing new or special about those. Uh, they're just the same. It would be cool, I, th I think, if they would have included like a kind of a flag design to kind of go with it. I don't know if that's that too tacky or too extra, but you know, something cool. It, it's a neat visor. Um, it's definitely a collectible, in my opinion, uh, as far as as far as that goes, because obviously we have to ask the question: Can we use this? in high school, youth football, college? And the answer is no, okay? The box, however, is very confusing. And there's some things we need to talk about as far as visors go. So we're gonna go over that here. 
Um, as far as what it says on the back, okay, you can see some things here. Distortion free clarity. I like the Under Armour visors. They um, they really hold up well in my opinion. Uh, and and it's true. Like there's not really a glare or anything that kind of goes with them. Um, it's a really neat, well designed visor. Anti fog, anti scratch coating. That's something for you to measure over time. You know, don't wear it in the rain. Like it's that's as easy as that. Like don't wear it in the rain. Um, and it also says additional customizable team uh, color clips available, sold separately. You can get a couple different colors in that. Um, and the one thing that makes this like confusing to people is it says that it meets NCAA and NFHS specifications. The rule behind this and why it says meets NCAA NFHS specifications is because it says within their guidelines and their rules is that the player's visor cannot have, uh, you've got to be able to see their eyes in the event of like an emergency. The important thing is, is that this visor is not legal. Um, and the one thing, like I said, it's confusing because it's on here and it says that it meets NCAA and FHS uh, specification. The specifications that they lay out is that the visor has to be molded of a certain kind of rigid material. And that's sort of a vague statement that just kind of goes along with what's actually stated in the rule book. So um, that, that's the thing, like you can't wear it in a game. You can wear it in practice by all means. Um, just know that like when it comes game time, you know, it's gotta be off or it's gotta be a clear visor. And so obviously clear visors are legal. The one thing that also is on the box is down here on the very bottom and it does say attention on it here at the very first one. It says, where at your own discretion, this product may be prohibited from use on the field by appropriate ruling establishments in some jurisdiction. Okay, maybe some areas allow it. I don't know. It's just, it's just something kind of a part of it. Ten advisors may impair the ability of medical staff to assess injury status. Graphic applications applied to the surface of the visor may impact color perception and light transmission across the wearer's field of view, which is directly stating this visor. It has a graphic design over it, which may impair the person's ability to see. And so those are just things that they have to state that pretty much just says, you know, it's a cool collectible visor. Um, I, like, look, I'm, I'm all about this stuff. Like, it's awesome. But like, there's just, there's rules set in place and we got to follow the rules. Um, if you're in, if you play semi-pro ball, by all means, like this is, this visor's for you. Like, you know, you can wear this one. You can wear the, the Oakley tinted ones, the Nike tinted ones, the, the shock visors, like all of those, you know, are not really governed in that way. We're going to have a separate video on just ten advisors themselves because I think it's worth mentioning. I get enough questions on this kind of stuff. But I wanted you guys to see the visor itself, kind of get an idea of it. If you were interested, if you're in the market for it, um, if you are that semi-pro player that's wanting this sweet visor uh, to throw on your helmet this season, this visor's for you, okay? Or it's at least worth a look uh, as far as all the different options they have. Because uh, there's not just this visor, you know. They've got, uh, you know, the Oakley ones. They've got Shock, which is really, really popular nowadays. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show this one. It's a very unique visor. Um, and I just, like I said, I wanted to, wanted to kind of show, I wanted just to show you guys this. Um, and what I did with it, I just, you know, added the extra clips. I originally had it on this uh, speed helmet, uh, and it looked pretty cool on there uh, with that. So anyway, that's kind of my video. Like with this, if you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to check out my Patreon page, uh, which has all kinds of stuff on there uh, from exclusive vlogs from my channel that I don't post on here. Uh, it has stuff for players and coaches alike. And it has my football subscription box if you were interested in checking out what the football subscription box is. It is a monthly box that where you receive football gear in the mail. It is a monthly box. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and we will see you guys in the next video.